Hi everyone, it's Diana from Raw Foods Made Simple and this is the second video to my granola bars because my tongue ran out on my first one. Sorry about that. Okay, so I got my mixture. I added a little more um, brown rice syrup to it. So there's for sure a cup, maybe a little more, about a cup I would say to be safe, right? So as you can see, try to hold it up, make sure it's all clumpy. Um, it still falls off. I mean, it's not syrupy. So what I would do, what I do then is I take some, don't add all of it on at once, it gets a little overwhelming. Besides, you're not quite sure if you're gonna need two cookie sheets. You don't know if this mixture is gonna be too much for your cookie sheets, so don't add it all on. It's always easier to add more. And this way you get a feel of how to um, spread it and press it when you just have a little bit on. And then it's just, it's easier to add. This is my water with my spatula. That's full of this stuff, that's why it's dirty. Water, add always water to your spatula because you, your spatula will stick to all of this and then you'll never get it to spread properly. So as soon as it starts to get sticky again, dip it in water again. So you're gonna squish it together. You're kind of pushing, pressing the mixture together and then you're flattening it. And you're getting it really close to the edges. You want a nice straight edge. And then take the edge of your spatula and kind of press down along the sides. You don't want it too thick, like I say about like that, because of how hard, like how crispy these granola bars will be. If that's if you cook them long enough. <laughs> if they never get that crispy, you know that you just didn't cook them long enough, which it really doesn't matter how long, uh, if you like them softer, then just don't cook them as long, right? So, and then I just press, and I just make sure that the area that I've got down is really good and then I just keep adding to it until I've used all my batter. I may have to go to um, a couple cookie sheets. That's just fine. And like I was saying in the earlier video, remember that this mixture, um, remember that it's soft when you first take it out of the out of the oven and it will harden and crisp. So if you want to wait and cut it until it gets out of the oven when it's still kind of soft, you can score it, cut it. Because if you wait until it, it's cool, it, it'll just be brittle. You won't be able to. You can break it off, which is totally fine if you want to break it off into pieces instead of cutting it into squares. So that's fine. Also, when you're doing this, so once I get the whole thing spread, I'm going to put it in the oven. Remember, the middle part is not going to cook as fast. Outside, all along the sheet, <clears throat> I put parchment paper down. You don't, I don't have quite enough. Um, along the outside, it's going to cook faster. So those pieces will probably be done before the middle. So that, if that's true, make sure you cut them. I usually take my cookie sheet out of the oven, let it sit for a bit, either cut it or till I can take those outside pieces out, off, put them on a plate, then I actually put the middle part back in to the oven so that it's cooked at the same way that I like the outside pieces cooked, just so you have consistency. But like I said, it doesn't matter. They will just stay softer if they're not cooked enough. So it's just a matter of pressing and getting it all in uniform, the th same thickness as much as you can because otherwise you're going to get really uneven cooking. Some's going to be um, cooked really well, some's going to be soft. Um, yeah, I and mean, you notice it won't be, although this stuff is fine to eat raw too, so it's totally fun. <laughs> Could you put this in the dehydrator? Now I haven't tried using brown rice syrup in the dehydrator. You might be able to, but another thing that you could do, and I do when I make my uh, raw granola or granola bars is I blend up dates with water. So I soak my jeweled dates, I blend them with water, cinnamon, the same spices, whatever you want to use, and the same nuts and seeds, absolutely fine. And that makes like a date paste. And then I mix that all together, spread it on my Teflex sheet. So that's exactly how you would make granola bars in your dehydrator. Super fast and easy. You just use blended, you know, my jeweled dates with some water. You know, maybe about one cup of water, three quarter cups of medjool dates, something like that. I mean, you probably need more, but that's just about the water date ratio. Soak the dates first in warm water to get them soft, remove the pits, and then blend them in your uh, food processor. That's how you make the date paste. So that is how you'd make this raw. But anyways, this is it, and this is cooked, and these are much healthier than the granola bars you buy in the grocery store. I can guarantee that. You can control what goes in these, and you can control how high the temperature you cook them, how long you cook them, what's in them, etc. So, I hope you <clears throat> I hope you enjoy these, because I know I certainly do, and everybody that's eaten them loves them. So, thank you now, and I'll see you in the next video.